Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the iconic showdown, Lee Haney vs. Dorian Yates at the 1991 Mr. Olympia. This face-off not only showcased two legends but reshaped bodybuilding's future. Let's get into it. Born on November 11, 1959 in Fairburn, Georgia, Lee Haney grew up in a loving household. Early in life, he was an active child, participating in sports and other physical activities. The athletic environment during his younger years undoubtedly sowed the seeds for his future career in bodybuilding. Haney's tryst with bodybuilding began in his teen years, when he started lifting weights to enhance his athletic prowess. By the age of 19, he made a mark by winning the Mr. Teenage America competition in 1979. The victory in the Teenage America contest propelled him into the professional circuit. Haney's most significant achievement came when he won the prestigious Mr. Olympia title for the first time in 1984. This victory marked the beginning of his domination in the professional bodybuilding arena, ultimately winning the Mr. Olympia title eight times consecutively. Born on April 19, 1962, in Hurley, Staffordshire, England, Dorian Yates had a turbulent childhood. Having lost his father at an early age, he faced several challenges including brushes with the law during his teenage years. After a short stint in a detention center, Dorian found solace in weight training. The discipline and structure that came with the sport helped him channel his energy positively. Recognizing his potential, he dedicated himself to bodybuilding. Yates's rise in the bodybuilding world was meteoric. In 1985, he won the World Games in London. But his true arrival on the world stage was when he clinched the Mr. Olympia title in 1992. Like Haney, Gates dominated the competition and went on to win the title six times. Haney's physique can be described as the epitome of aesthetics blended with mass. With a frame that was both large and symmetrical, he brought a classical, artistic look to the stage. One of his significant genetic advantages was his wide clavicles, which provided the basis for his impressive V-taper. Another key feature was his small waist, which accentuated his overall aesthetics. In contrast to Haney's aesthetic appeal, Dorian brought a rugged, dense, and grainy muscle quality. He introduced the world to the mass monster era of bodybuilding. Yates had the genetic advantage of dense muscle fibers, allowing him to pack a significant amount of mass. His unmatched back development, often referred to as a barn door, was arguably his most iconic feature. Believing in quality over quantity, Haney often trained with moderate weights, focusing on form and muscle-mind connection. He was an advocate of the total body workout routine, emphasizing overall development rather than isolated muscle enhancement. On the other hand, Dorian was known for his high-intensity training, Hedity approach. He believed in short, intense sessions, often taking his muscles to absolute failure. This method, coupled with his exceptional genetics, resulted in the dense musculature that became his trademark. Between 1984 and 1990, Haney defended his Mr. Olympia title with consistent fervor, claiming the title seven times in a row. This feat placed him in the same lead as Arnold Schwarzenegger, who also won the title seven times, though not consecutively. Dorian Yates' journey in professional bodybuilding began in the mid-80s. He quickly showcased his potential by winning the World Games in London in 1985. This victory was a glimpse of the sheer mass and density he brought to the stage. Yates' approach to training was revolutionary for its time. He was an ardent believer in high-intensity training, high D. Unlike traditional bodybuilding routines that involved multiple sets for each exercise, Yates' high D method emphasized fewer sets but pushed each set to its absolute limit. Every workout session was short but extremely intense, with Yates often performing just one set of failure for each exercise. Yates is famously quoted as saying, It's not what you can do, but what you can recover from. This philosophy shaped his approach, ensuring he gave adequate time for his muscles to recover from the intense strain. After his win at the World Games, Yates continued to compete and refine his physique. He won the British Championships in 1986, paving the way for his entry into the larger global competitions. In the late 80s and early 90s, he began to gain international attention with his impressive showings in the Night of Champions and the Grand Prix circuit. These performances built his reputation as a serious contender in the bodybuilding world. Heading into the competition, Lee Haney was chasing history. Having already won seven Mr. Olympia titles, a win in 1991 would allow him to surpass Arnold Schwarzenegger's record. The weight of this potential accomplishment loomed large over the competition, 
with many speculating if Haney could fend off the younger competitors and make history. Meanwhile, the bodybuilding community was abuzz with talk about Dorian Yates. He had made a significant impression in the years leading up to 1991, and many insiders believed he could pose a serious challenge to Haney. His sheer mass and the grainy muscularity he presented were unlike anything the bodybuilding world had seen. With an eighth Mr. Olympia title under his belt, Haney had surpassed Arnold Schwarzenegger's record, cementing his place in bodybuilding history. His reaction was one of relief, gratitude, and fulfillment. However, having reached this pinnacle, Haney made the decision to retire from competitive bodybuilding, choosing to leave the sport while still at the top. Despite his second-place finish, Yates was anything but defeated. He saw his performance as a validation of his training methodologies and as an indication of his potential to be the best in the world. In post-show interviews, Yates expressed his respect for Haney while also showcasing his hunger and drive to claim the top spot in the coming years. After his retirement, Haney transitioned into a mentorship role within the bodybuilding community. He started training other athletes and opened his fitness centers, emphasizing holistic wellness. Haney's training philosophy, which combined aesthetic mass with proportion, continued to inspire the next generation. His legacy is not just limited to his eight titles but also the manner in which he achieved them, by prioritizing health, symmetry, and balance. The 1991 Mr. Olympia was a turning point for Yates. It validated his belief in high-intensity training head, and reinforced his commitment to this rigorous regimen. Dorian further refined his approach, focusing on even shorter and more intense workouts. His training techniques, which were once seen as unorthodox, began to gain traction. As he started winning subsequent Mr. Olympia titles, many young bodybuilders started emulating his methods. Haney's decision to retire at the peak of his career only added to his legend. Within the bodybuilding community, he's often remembered not just for his eight titles, but for his grace, humility, and dedication to the sport's true essence. His physique is often cited as the gold standard of the perfect blend of mass, symmetry, and proportion. After the 1991 showdown, Yates was seen as the heir apparent to the bodybuilding throne. His subsequent victories solidified this perception. The bodybuilding community began to shift its focus from just aesthetics to a combination of mass and condition. Yates' grainy, hard, and vascular look, combined with his massive size, heralded the beginning of the mass monster era. The Lee Haney vs. Dorian Yates showdown was a defining moment in bodybuilding history. It marked a transition from one era to another, from classic aesthetics to the age of mass monsters. And that wraps up our look at the epic Haney vs. Yates showdown and its indelible mark on bodybuilding. The rivalry not only shaped their careers but also set the stage for the future of the sport. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more bodybuilding history and insights. Until next time, keep lifting and stay inspired.